PhD uh, thesis, which talks about uh, water st status modeling and the impact of uh, local rainfall variability in Burgundy, which is in France. Uh, well, many studies uh, considered as the key physical factors, uh, the soil, topography, uh, and the temperature variability. Uh, there are many studies talking about it, but uh, only few uh, or none talking about uh, the rainfall variability importance. So what about rainfall? We know that uh, rainfall uh, controls water balance. Moreover, in a region such as Burgundy, where uh, irrigation is uh, prohibited, uh, we know that grapevine requires uh, a limited water input to uh, develop its uh, analogical potential. Um, we can see uh, that rainfall uh, can be highly variable uh, in time and space, moreover, when uh, there is convective events. Uh, the, the water balance models need uh, a precise uh, data to uh, provide some accurate results. And uh, the existing uh, rainfall capture system do not uh, allow to uh, provide uh, such a precise data to uh, models. That's why we implemented uh, in, t in 2012 uh, the Hydrovitis uh, Rain Gauge Network. Uh, it is composed of uh, 45 rain gauges uh, over uh, 20 square kilometers area. We have two duplicates uh, on the area. The spatial resolution is about 1.6 rain gauge per square kilometer. Uh, the mean distance to uh, the nearest rain gauge is about 500 meters. And uh, the, cl the, the, the climate over the ar area is classified as uh, cool, humid, with very cool nights. The rain gauge network is uh, located just in the north of the city of Bone. Uh, and uh, every uh, rain gauge are uh, some rain rainwise rain U111 tipping bucket uh, rain gauges. We tested the resolution of uh, these rain gauges. We uh, obtained a resolution of uh, 0 0.258 uh, millimeters. We linked uh, these rain gauges to uh, a registering sensor placed under uh, a shelter. Uh, it allowed um, second time step resolution for the rainfall registering and it also registered temperature. Uh, the data retrieving is made uh, every week during the growing season in order to avoid uh, clogging events or uh, if uh, one grower broke uh, one rain gauges during the activity, uh, we can replace it as soon as possible. And here are the results we have with uh, this uh, rain gauge network. You can see here the variation to harvest rainfall amounts. Um, for 2014, the rainfall is ranging between uh, 19 to 35 uh, millimeters. The wettest areas were located, I don't know where is the pointer. <laughs> Uh, just right here and on the south uh, western part of the, the area and they are linked to thunderstorms uh, occurring during the, the period. For uh, 2015 um, the wettest area is located on the western park with some uh, accumulation around uh, 72 millimeters and uh, the the driest uh, part of the area has uh, registered some uh, 51 uh, millimeter accumulations. Here uh, it is interesting because these uh, strong accumulations do not, are not linked to uh, thunderstorm during the period. And uh, we can see that during the both summer, uh, the eastern part of the network is in general uh, drier than uh, the, the western park with some more important rainfall accumulation. So uh, we asked the, the question, what could be the impact of this spatial variability over water balance modeling? We uh, used the Le Bon model. Uh, we made 45 runs. 
one for every RAIN gauge, uh, for two different uh, total transpirable soil water, the TTSW, 50 and 150 millimeters, which is uh, low uh, TTSW and the medium TTSW. Uh, every other uh, input parameters like temperature, relative humidity, solar radiation, wind speed were equal for every uh, simulation and uh, they were captured by the, the same weather station located in Bonn. Uh, the vapor transpiration was also uh, constant during the simulations and uh, it was calculated using uh, penman montis model. And the results are FTSW values, which are uh, which is frac uh, fraction of transpirable soil water, which is a relative value of the uh, TTSW. The results uh, here you have uh, the 2015 uh, values and here the uh, 2014 values. And the first uh, thing we can see is that 2015 values are two to three times drier than the 2014 values, despite uh, higher, rainfall, uh, higher rainfall accumulations. This is linked to a strong heat wave we had uh, in France uh, last summer in, two, in 2015, uh, with temperature uh, above uh, 35 uh, Celsius degrees during three weeks. And that's why we have uh, some dry values during 2015 uh, year. For the 2014 uh, year, uh, FTS values uh, for uh, the medium TTSW, so for 150 millimeters F uh, TTSW, we, we can see that it is, uh, there is a large pan uh, for the FTSW. And uh, for the uh, low TTSW, we have a lower span. Uh, in both cases, uh, there is no uh, water deficit. You can see the thresholds right here, which have been calculated following the study of Van Leeuwen et al. And we can see that there is no water deficit for uh, 2014. Here is the map uh, we obtained after uh, the simulation. Uh, every uh, point uh, is a rain gauge and uh, the values are the values of the FTSW for uh, the medium uh, total transpirable soil water. And we can see that the storms uh, are here. The storms we uh, saw in the rainfall accumulation maps are here and we can find a third one which occurred just before uh, variation. In, uh, two, in 2015, um, the FTSW for the medium uh, soil water uh, are lower than uh, for the low uh, TTSW. I remember that just before variation, uh, the uh, FTSW were really low because of the heat wave. And uh, with the uh, rainfall accumulation, the, uh, the low uh, TTSW can recharge quicker, so uh, that's why we have some uh, higher values of FTSW for 2015. And uh, depending of uh, the TTSW cho uh, chosen, we have some uh, we have a uh, water deficit classified as weak to uh, weak to moderate. Uh, here is the map, uh, the same map than the, for 2014, but here for 2015. And uh, we can see that uh, the spatial structure of rainfall can be retrieved uh, for the Le Bon model simulation for the FTSW uh, values. And uh, it's really interesting because we can see that rainfall variability has an influence on uh, water uh, modeling. Well, to conclude, uh, I would say that uh, at local scale, uh, we know that rainfall can present an important spatial variability uh, with convective events and without convective events. Uh, we show that this uh, variability uh, can induce an important, uh, important changes in the uh, available soil water for uh, the wine, uh, depending on the soil water capacity. Um, we therefore need precise uh, rainfall data to, um, 
to perform some uh, relevant simulations uh, with the water balance model. And uh, the next uh, step for this study is to uh, perform um, uh, the to perform some other runs with different models to uh, take into account the contribution of topography, runoff, and uh, one-year uh, evapotranspiration. I thank you for your attention.